E Yo, what's going on y'all? In this video, I wanna show you how to create a YouTube thumbnail free and very easy using Canva. We're actually going to make the thumbnail for this video in this video, could you believe it? And I'll actually show you the process that I use to create all of the thumbnails for all of my videos that are on my YouTube page. And at the end of the video, I'll show you a really cool trick that you can use with your iPhone to create these sort of like background free pictures of yourself if you've got a nice picture of yourself that you want to use in a thumbnail without going into Photoshop or paying somebody to do it for you on Fiverr because God knows where the hell half those people are in the world and how they're even doing your work in the first place. But anyway, let's pop right into Canva. Look at that little transition I got going on there. It's awesome. So I'm using the free version of Canva. You can actually, and I'll actually put the link in the description below if you want to try Canva Pro for a free trial. What I'm going to do, I believe, is all free in this uh, this interface for Canva. But there is a pro version of Canva that gives you access to things like royalty-free music and a few other elements within the program that I think could be useful if you're doing things other than YouTube thumbnails. Because if you've ever popped into Canva before, you know there are thousands of different templates that you can use for pretty much anything that you need help with. So in this video, obviously we're gonna go into YouTube thumbnails and all you wanna do is go into their um, website and type in YouTube thumbnails in the search bar. Now you're going to be presented with a lot of options. I mean, there's literally 14,000 templates that you can pick from. And a lot of them are just like, <laughs> I mean, some of those are really bad. Like this, what, what is this fucking guy doing, bro? No chance. But what I like to do is I don't even start in Canva when I'm making a thumbnail. What I have in mind is a topic that I want to cover in my video. And in this video, we would be saying how to make a YouTube thumbnail. And what I'm actually doing is getting inspiration from all of the videos that are already on YouTube and performing pretty well. So this video by Justin Brown has 3.4 million views. And that's kind of telling me like the click through rate for this video is very high, meaning that the person that sees the image or sees the thumbnail, what are the chances that they actually click on the video? A good click through rate for videos is somewhere probably between five and 10% and different colored backgrounds actually perform better than others. Like there's a reason why this might be blue. There's a reason why this one might be uh, red. This one might be blue for a reason. A lot of them are blue. Some of them are purple. I don't really know, but I'm looking at the top videos because I want to draw inspiration from those thumbnails. So what we're going to end up doing is just taking maybe what works in this thumbnail. I like how he's pointing at the words. I like how the words are, you know, highlighted sort of with a contrasting background color. So I'm gonna take some inf inspiration from that. I'm gonna pop back into Canva and see if I can find one that kind of matches that uh, vibe. And I already have one created. So I think what we can do is kind of reverse engineer how I made the thumbnail for this video, which if I go back to Canva, it's my first made picture here. And this actually came from this thumbnail that I found in the search results for YouTube thumbnails. So there's a few different things that you want to start doing. And the first thing that I do is I delete anything that I don't want. So <laughs> right off the bat, I mean, this guy's gone, man. He, he didn't stand a chance. If I came in here and I edited this picture, he's, he's the first thing that's out of here. So we're gonna highlight him and we're gonna hit backspace and get him, you know, kick rocks, buddy. So wallet also deleted. Background, I don't know, yo, these stripes are so bad. like. If I saw that on a YouTube thumbnail, I just wouldn't click it. I gotta be honest, I wouldn't click it. So I'm gonna delete that as well. So now we're left with words, right? Which is fine, because the first thing I wanna show you how to do is actually edit the words in the, in the thumbnail itself. And what we're gonna do is we're going to kind of take the title of our video and turn it into words on our thumbnail, right? So you'll see here in mine, I've got how to make YouTube thumbnails. So what we're gonna do is double click on don't do, and you can do this with any template that you've got for your uh, thumbnail. So we're gonna type in how to make, and you'll see that it's formatted pretty weird. So we're gonna take the end of this sort of text box and drag it out so we make the text one line. We can do the same thing with the rectangle behind it, and that looks pretty good. But the next thing we wanna do is we wanna center this text within the text box, and then we're also gonna center it within the rectangle behind it. So what I mean by that is we're going to click on the text box, and you'll see the alignment tab up top here. We want this to be centered, 
like this. And now the, the text is centered within the text box. And now we want to center it within the rectangle. So now what I just did there is you'll see like the sort of like crosshairs of the alignment within the rectangle behind it. That just tells you that it's aligned properly with what is behind or in front of the image. So we can make the text a little bigger either by dragging out this uh, purple circle at the bottom left. And that looks, uh, that looks pretty good there, right? There we go, cool. So now um, for whatever reason, they just decided that they wanted to put this text at like a 35 degree angle, which is, I kind of think it's pretty insulting to the audience. So we'll highlight that. We're gonna straighten this out a little bit. So what I like to do here is not make it totally straight, which is kind of boring. You'll see here what I did is I made it on like a very, very slight angle, right? So we've got that on like, I don't know, maybe a five degree angle. The next thing we want to do is the same thing with the text here. So we'll just type in YouTube. And since this is going to be one of our main keywords, YouTube is going to be one and thumbnail is going to be one for our search results. We're going to highlight this, right? So we're going to make it big. Same thing we did with how to make, and we're going to highlight that, make it a little bit bigger. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to bring this rectangle and text to the front. So highlight both of your words and your rectangle, right click on YouTube and what you've just highlighted and then bring it to the front. So what that does is it just puts it at the very front layer of your thumbnail. Last thing we want to do is obviously edit the your crypto, how to make YouTube your crypto. It's not our thumbnail title, <laughs> YouTube thumbnails, we could do that. Oh no, what just happened? Oh no, we're back. Okay, if I hit a number on my keyboard, it tells my stream to switch scenes, which I don't want to happen. So we've got thumbnail and we're gonna edit this and we're gonna tilt it that way. We'll say negative five degrees. We're also gonna center this as well. So we've got that centered and it looks centered on our rectangle, perfect. And that looks good there, cool. So now we've got our text edited. And let's see if we can make that straight. That looks a little off. That looks good. There we go, perfect. So now that we've got that created, we can highlight everything that we just edited, make it a little bit bigger, just so we've got it you know, separated like that. And that looks good. So maybe you don't like the colors of the thumbnail that you started with. Now, the easy way to do this is to just click on the background color and you'll see this color square pop up here. You can come into here and you can use any of their default colors. You can actually create your own brand kits within Canva if you've got the pro version, which I do. And honestly, like the pro version, you can try free for 14 days, I believe. And it allows you to basically just have free reign over anything in their platform, um, like royalty free music, all of the motion elements and the stickers that you see here, but also th things like create brand kits, which you see here that I just pulled from um, basically my own brand palettes that I, that I have like pre-saved within the uh, color picker tab, if that makes sense. It's also $13 a month. So if you decide that you don't want to take to, you know, go to Chipotle for a day, I know if you go to Chipotle now, it's like $13 fucking dollars for a burrito, depending on what you put in it. And also because of inflation, but that's, you know, relatively inexpensive for what you're able to do in Canva. So if you said, listen, I'm not, I'm not going to Chipotle today. I'm going to buy Canva for a month. You know, it's a good decision. I, will, I wouldn't put you down for it. Anyway, let's say that you don't like any of the images, uh, sorry, the, the colors in the thumbnail. Now, the easy way to do it is to just pick one of their default colors, which is okay, right? If you want that orange, if you want this orange, if you want the purple, the pink. You know, what I like to do is... If we're looking at my thumbnails on my video, a lot of my high performing thumbnails, and it sounds weird, like I only have 60 subscribers and I've got a few hundred views on the videos, but some of my top performing videos actually have, if I go to my videos tab, where's my videos tab? You know, 733 views for this one, 118 for that one. For some reason, yellow performs really well. So what I'm gonna do is I really like this website, colorhunt.co.co. And what this does is it allows you to create palettes from some of the colors that you wanna get inspiration from. So for example, if I wanted to make a yellow color palette, if you type in yellow, 
you're going to get color palettes that have yellow in them with contrasting colors. Now, I like yellow, black, and with the YouTube logo being red, that also is a very good contrasting color. So I'm going to use this palette here and I'm going to copy and paste this hex code. So I'm going to hover over the color. <laughs> that was so funny, the, the breath I just made. <sighs> I'm going to hover over the color here, the yellow. FFDE00, copy that, bring it over to Canva. We're going to adjust the color for the background and we're going to paste our hex code. Perfect. Look at that. So now we're going to grab this red, D2001A. We're going to copy that. We're going to bring it over and change the color of the highlight of the YouTube um, keyword in our thumbnail. So we've got that done. We're going to make the text black as well. We've got that there and that looks pretty good. Now, <clears throat> what we don't have obviously is a photo of ourself or this sort of like background pattern that you see here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a background pattern for our thumbnail. So let's just go to elements and this might come in handy if you've got your Canva Pro account or at least that free trial that I mentioned. Again, link is in the description for that. If you want to create this sort of like, you know, swirling pattern in the back, which does add a lot to the thumbnail. And I'll show you an example, right? So if we've just got the picture of myself with this yellow in the back, it looks good, right? But just look at it compared to this sort of like swirling effect in the back that we've got here, right? It's very subtle, but it makes a big difference. And if you grab that pattern and you just drag it over to the thumbnail that you've got and you lay it over the background that you've got, it'll look like that. What you want to do is just click on it and send it back, right? Send to back. And now it's behind everything that you've got. Obviously we wouldn't leave it like that. So what I like to do is I like to overlay the pattern black and then drop the opacity or the transparency down to about four. And you've got something like that. Perfect, right? Now it gives it that little like, I don't know, lava lamp, groovy, hippie sort of, I don't know, curves that you've got. Cool. Last thing we want to do and this is the really cool part about what I'm going to show you with your iPhone. If you've got the new iPhone update, look at the little transition I got going on there. What you can do is actually take a picture of yourself. And I mean like straight up, you can see me doing it right now. Like do something like that, right? Once you've got the photo taken on your phone, you can actually click on the image of yourself and put your thumb and hold your, basically highlight yourself in the image. Once you've got your cutout of yourself from your phone, what you're going to do is upload that image into Canva. And you can send that to yourself via AirDrop, via D Dropbox, or you can email it to yourself or text it to yourself. If you're editing your thumbnail on mobile, you can also just upload it straight into Canva. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna upload that image. I already have it pre-populated here. Once you upload that into the upload section, it's going to show up in that section on the left hand side. Just drag and drop or just click on your photo. It'll populate in there automatically. And once you've got that, you can just readjust the size. Readjust or adjust. What's the correct word there? And that looks pretty good. So we'll take that. The size looks good. We're just going to send it to the back. And now we've got that created. And honestly, like that's the thumbnail. <laughs> It's very simple. And I do this for pretty much all of the videos that I create. So if you found value in this video, I would really appreciate you subscribing and supporting the channel. I drop videos like this all the time. And once you've got your thumbnails created, you can go out and create videos. But I guess the next question then becomes, what's the best process for creating content? Like the video that you just watched. Well, I put together everything. I'll drop that link right there or over there somewhere. Not totally sure. But I appreciate your support. Looking forward to seeing y'all in the next video. Peace.